ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Dave Wiggins. Hello. Hello, uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is Dave. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm originally from the States, but I've been living in New Zealand uh, for four and a half years now. And uh, I love New Zealand. Do you guys, you guys like New Zealand? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I enjoy most things about New Zealand. Uh, there are a few things I still really don't like about New Zealand, and uh, top of the list is Marmite. <laughs> I don't really like this stuff, but sort of luckily for me, every Kiwi feels it's their obligation to educate me on how to eat the Marmite. I always get this lesson. Uh, lesson number one, I uh, get the piece of toast, right? And then you put some butter on, and then you put a little bit, you know, just a little bit of Marmite on. You know why you put a little bit on? Because it's disgusting. <laughs> Uh, I, I do enjoy New Zealand, enjoy Kiwis, enjoy the people here. In fact, uh, a year ago I married a Kiwi, so yes, thank you for that. Uh, which is great because my visa was running out, so. <laughs> I, I find it interesting, I find that most Americans don't really know what it's like to be an American living overseas. Like, I'm, I'm kind of used to it, but like my mom, who's lived in the States her whole life, uh, I'm living here during the height of the war in Iraq, and she sends me this bumper sticker to put on my car. It says this, proud to be an American. Well, thanks a lot, Mum. Why don't you put, like, please crash into me? That would be great. One of the reasons why I did move here, though, is because I thought, sweet, you guys speak English, I'll be able to communicate effectively uh, with the Kiwis. Uh, but it's different because uh, words mean different things here. Like, for instance, what we call in the States, we call it flashlight, but you guys call it a torch here. And, and it's very confusing for me because when I always think of a torch, you know, I think of this big wooden stick with a ball of fire on the end of it. <laughs> so all my Kiwi friends are like, hey, we're going camping this weekend, don't forget to bring your torch. <laughs> I'm like, what are we gonna do, attack the neighboring village and burn down their grass hut? <laughs> Should I bring my pitchfork? Maybe go hunting for Shrek as well. <laughs> uh, jumper is another word. Where I'm from in the States, uh, jumper is, is a type of dress for a little girl. So I remember moving here and my first friend, Simon, and we're walking past farmers and he goes, I just got to go here and get myself a jumper. <laughs> I'm sort of like, hey, I'm not here to judge, you know? <laughs> if that's what it's like in New Zealand, good on you, mate. Um, what, what I figured out, though, since I've been here, that jumper, uh, it, you know, it's not only a sweatshirt that, that you put on or a sweater, it's actually your entire heating system. <laughs> right? I, I, I grew up in Maine, the northeast United States. It snows every winter, but I've never been as cold as I have been inside a house in New Zealand. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And, and, and never once have I gone, oh man, it's cold in here, and I've heard, yeah, mate, let me just put on the heater. No. So I was, yeah, just put on another jumper, mate. <laughs> oh, I got five jumpers on. Kind of like, I don't know, go out and hug a sheep or something. <laughs> Um, I, I find I, I talk to a lot of Kiwis who have been in the States when they say sometimes uh, when they go to the States it's very confusing because we name things differently. Uh, like where I'm from, we call Coke and that, we call it soda. But in other places they call it pop or soda pop. And, and sometimes you know, Kiwis say it's very confusing. But, but I love here in New Zealand because you name things very simply. Because uh, what do you guys call it? Fizzy drink. <laughs> sort of like, what should we call this stuff? Well, it's fizzy. Uh, and you drink it. <laughs> so I guess we'll call it fizzy drink. <laughs> I was in Australia not too long ago and I was introduced to a new uh, fizzy drink there. Uh, it, it, this was great. I, I did what every American wants to do uh, when they go to Australia. I got my picture taken with a kangaroo. <laughs> it, it was great too. I got really close up because it was just dead on the side of the road. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I got in in introduced to this new fizzy drink called sarsaparilla. And, and apparently we have it here in New Zealand as well. That's the full name, Sarsaparilla. But there's a nickname, uh, Sars. <laughs> so I was there having lunch and, and these guys were like, hey mate, you want some Sars? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Can I get some bird flu as well? <laughs> Got any mad cow disease? I'll take that. 